Hi guys, so for those of you, you've probably seen Amanda's post on her New Year's resolutions. Um, I'm a lot like her, I don't like to make resolutions just because it's New Year's or uh, make the decision that you should be doing something because January 1 is coming up and that's the time that you have to make a change and um, you should do it anytime you feel like you can be bettering yourself or the environment or your health. Um, don't wait around until January 1st to go ahead and do it. Uh, I do see the benefit and the kind of the um, excitement because it's a new year and it's it's a good chance to kind of refresh your life and start new or start something new or quit something. Um, but uh, Amanda talked about in her vlog that she wants to reduce her plastic usage in 2014, which I think is a really great one to do. Um, plastic is one of the worst things for the earth and it takes like 100 years or something to biodegrade and even then it's not biodegrading fully. Um, paper is one step more. I remember in the grocery stores when they used to ask plastic or paper and I would pick the paper option because then you can at least recycle it or um, it biodegrades a lot easier than plastic anyways. Um, so if one thing if you want to do is jump in with Amanda and kind of reduce your plastic intake or usage I guess I should say. Uh, never use plastic bags at the grocery store, always bring your own. It's one of the biggest, easiest changes you can make to become more eco-friendly. Um, anyways, I think it's a great one and I'll probably jump in as well and uh, she made a great point about using the stainless steel water bottles that you can take anywhere instead of buying the plastic ones all the time. It is expensive and keep more money in your pocket by all means. Um, for me, uh, the eco-vegan resolutions that I want to do um, for 2014 or things I want to accomplish to be more eco-friendly is uh, one of the biggest ones. It seems funny, but I uh, use my hair dryer less. It's one of the worst appliances for energy consumption. It uh, sucks energy and electricity like no other and it's it's probably one of the worst ones that you can use. Um, I have shorter hair, actually this is the longest it's been in a long time and I'm growing it out because I'm getting married in the summer and uh, when I have short hair there's no way I'd be able to give it up or else, it, no. Uh, so as it's getting longer I'm gonna try and use it less or at least not dry it fully or kind of half dry it and let it air dry the rest of the time or just towel dry it and see how that goes but um, definitely use it less. Uh, I'm going to try and focus on energy consumption. I've started using, uh, we have a toaster oven so I started using that a lot more than using the whole oven because the oven takes a lot of energy as well and why turn it on and have it preheat for 20 minutes and then you're cooking for an hour and that's a lot of energy to be using just to cook one small casserole dish and you could fit that in a toaster oven. They're not expensive to buy. It's maybe you can get one for 30 bucks and um, cooks perfectly. I love it. It's so handy. It preheats a lot quicker. It's a lot smaller space inside so it preheats faster. Um, cooks just like an oven plus the best things is you can reheat things and it won't get all soggy like the microwave does. It keeps it like, keeps a crust on it. Um, so the toaster oven is amazing, I found it, uh, you can use it a lot more too. Um, one thing also that I want to start doing again more is I used to sew a lot and do a lot of crafting and kind of slacked off in the last year, so I want to get back into that a lot. Um, some examples is I was knitting dishcloths, like you see here. Uh, I used to knit when I was really young, I know it's like an 80 year old woman habit to do, but um, it's great and yarn is so inexpensive to buy and knitting needles are inexpensive to buy and it's a habit to get into if you're watching TV and you're knitting and why not get into the habit of knitting these and you don't have to buy dishcloths and you don't have to purchase, we can buy organic cotton to make the, the yarn to make it with so uh, that's a plus or I started getting into making reusable bags myself and then you're not buying them and you can get the type of material you want to use. Um, so there's this one that I made 
last year. And you can get such cute fabrics and little buttons and everything. This one's probably my favorite. It's more like a paisley kind of deal. It's super easy to do. Um, it's quick to sew in together, and there's the inside. I like to pick different linings, make it fun, make it funky. I'm not a bandwagon person. I like to be unique and do things different to stand out a little bit. For my vegan resolutions, uh, this whole last year was kind of a growing phase for me because a year ago I found out I was allergic to cow's milk and eggs, and um, that kind of put a halt to any cheese intake, any baking, any um, sour cream, ranch dressing, everything you can imagine. Um, so for the last year, it's been kind of getting used to not putting cheese on things, not getting products that already contain eggs or milk. It's There's a lot out there. You'd be actually surprised how much has milk ingredients in it. Um, so I'm going to do more creative vegan cooking. So uh, you may have heard of seitan. It's kind of a fake meat that vegans can make themselves. Um, it's kind of like tofu, but uh, it's really easy to make. It uses the, the wheat gluten, but so if you're doing gluten-free, then it's not a good choice. But I'm gonna try and make that. It's a good source of protein. You can use it like a cutlet or in a stew, and I'm really excited to try it and get my hands on it and see how I like it and alter it to my liking. And um, also, I got two really good cookbooks for Christmas, and one's called Veganomicon. Uh, my brother got me this one, and it's really good. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it has everything in it from sauce. I've already made a uh, vegan apple crumble kind of thing and cheesy sauce, which I, it took me a while from trial and error to make my favorite mac and cheese, so then getting a cheese sauce that you could put on nachos or dip tortillas in or um, anything like that. It, I tried it last night and it was really good. Put it on steamed veggies like cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. It was amazing. And I also got this one, which is One Dish Vegan. Um, so I'm excited to try out the crock pot or the slow cooker and um, basically one of my resolutions personally was to uh, do a lot more cooking. It's when you're working all day and the roads are bad, I don't get home until about 5.30 and then we walk the dogs, it takes uh, half an hour to an hour and then by the time you're ready to cook it's almost 7 and then you don't want to do something that takes an hour and then eat at 8 because you're going to bed right away. So um, trying to do more food prep and meal pro meal planning is a huge one for me too. Um, try to stay organized with it so there's no excuses to not cook healthy every night or cook something every night and not do something quick. That's not you're not getting any nutrients from it. Um, so that's a big one for me too. Uh, so what we want to know is what are little things that you're gonna try to be more eco vegan. Uh, in 2014. If it's small things from changing your light bulbs uh, to stop using plastic bags and buying or making your own cloth bag to bring for groceries. Um, side note, they're stronger too. You don't have to be carrying your milk and have it rip and spill all over the road. Um, little things like that or getting a toaster oven, using it instead of your oven. Um, or being vegan, if it's too big of a jump for you, maybe start slow, like um, Meatless Mondays is a good one, or even uh, doing more hardcore and trying seitan or tofu or any of those kind of things. We want to know what you're doing to be more eco-friendly or trying to be going towards vegan or even gluten-free or what kind of stuff you're planning on accomplishing in 2014 and where you want to go um, in the next year. Uh, just comment, send us an email, um, get on Facebook and send us a message. We want to know what you're going to do and we'd love to post it on the website too. So if you go to www.thenvgirls.com um, or go to Facebook and let us know what you're up to for 2014.